Welcome everybody to Rapture Watch for September the 10th, 2018. Watchman on the Wall, William from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And I hope all of you guys are having a blessed day in the Lord and also uh, a good Feast of Trumpets, which we will, might start tonight. Um, you're, it's the festival that no one knows the day or the hour. Because that it has to be uh, two witnesses must see the moon and then the feast starts. So that's why a lot of people um, look towards the Feast of Trumpets as the feast that um, the bride could be called home. And uh, I know... Last year, I was absolutely convinced. Um, actually, that's not true. If you go and listen to the videos, I was quite reserved in saying, um, you know, let's hope for the best, but prepare for whatever. And after that, I realized that um, date sets are extremely... Uh, futile because we don't know where we are in the calendar like I said uh, on the last video but I do want to say that uh, something very significant has occurred and apparently the very first certified red heifer was born in Israel and to the Jewish uh, people um, regarding the temple. This is extremely significant. It hasn't happened, uh, they say, for 2,000 years. And they have had uh, help from a, a rancher um, to do this, this project. And I hear that there's genetic modifications or something like that. I don't know if that's the case. Um, and for those of you who don't know, like I had no idea until today, watching um, a, a sister in Christ uh, talk about it got me intrigued. So that's why I'm, I'm telling you guys. So it's not like I have some great knowledge on this. It's just something I found out today. But um, that this this animal has to not have any uh, hairs of um, any other color than red, and they have to be unyoked, no uh, work. Um, they have never have to. They have to be um, free range, totally uh, natural. Um, birth in, in a, a free life and uh, for I believe three or four years um, and then uh, the sacrifice has to happen for them to be able to uh, cleanse everybody to start a new temple and the fact that this thing um, is genetically modified could be the abomination the, the of desolation you know this thing that is a, a genetically modified um, thing which the Lord isn't accepting sacrifices anymore anyways um, so it would make sense that the Lord would stop um, allowing these red uh, heifers to be born uh, naturally because Jesus is the uh, sacrifice, and there is no more sacrifices. But we do know that that um, in order for the Jews to come to repentance, they have to believe uh, in this this grand delusion and this lie. And so, part of it is this red heifer that has been certified, and the first one in two thousand years they claim. But if you read Numbers chapter 19, 
the the heifer has to be uh, clean on the outside and the inside, and it's such a symbol. If you think about, you know, the unsaved person, um, you know, that could be clean on the outside, very good person, doing a lot of good deeds and helping people, but they don't have the Holy Spirit. They don't have that that pure genetic uh, Holy Spirit change inside that uh, makes them a true... Um, a true Holy Spirit filled Christian and this heifer that they may sacrifice uh, to build this new temple it will not be perfect on the inside because the DNA is genetically modified you know that what's inside is not uh, it's an abomination you know and so even if the Lord was accepting sacrifices, a genetically modified animal would not be uh, lawful, and it would be an abomination and unacceptable, um, because it wouldn't be the Lord making it. It would be genetically modified. And so, um, you know, Numbers chapter 19 is the... Uh, where you'll find the rules of this whole ceremony, but we know that all of these rituals and ceremonies and even feasts, like the Feast of Trumpets, it's not for the Gentiles. It's for the Jews to lead them to the Lord and for them to uh, come to the awareness of Him and to lead him. That's what the law is there for, is to lead all of us to Christ. Uh, and once we are in Christ, then we know what he likes and doesn't like, and what is acceptable and unacceptable. And we try as best we can to live that holy life, you know, and we are weak in the flesh, and that's where he usually <laughs> will always try and use us is when we where we're weakest is where he will use us so we can't boast because we're weak in it i mean moses he said uh, i think he had a speech impediment or a speech problem and um there was an issue there where he asked god like i, I don't know why are you gonna ask me i'm not qualified and the lord always uses the weakness our weakness as our strength and for him so you know, it's um, it's amazing to think about that wherever you're the weakest, that's probably where the Lord wants you to um, do your ministry, you know, wherever you feel the weakest. He will strengthen you in that area because it's not about you, it's about Him. And um, so, anyways, that's today's message. I hope you guys feel encouraged. I hope you guys are... Looking forward to the future for all reasons, and um, and uh, looking for that day, and having that hope, and knowing that um, that uh, anything can happen, but we must realize that if nothing happens, because I know a lot of you guys are are very excited about the people talking about the 11th and I want you guys to feel um, the same every day you know um, he said when you're not looking that's when he's gonna come so let's be prepared every day and uh, and be excited and pray for one another that's the most important thing that you can do is pray for one another and let's come together and pray against the evil that's coming against our lost loved ones that's the number one reason why we're here the Holy Spirit filled Christians is a restrainer and the more that we uh, fight the more that we can harvest the more that the Lord is 
uh, using us and so just uh, be patient because every day we're here is a blessing to the lost and to our families so I hope you guys have a blessed day I love you and if I don't see in the clouds tonight I'll have another message for you very soon peace be with you